Imagine waking up in your city and the air is so thick you can't see your own feet. Street lights glow like ghosts. Buses crawl through yellow fog with people walking ahead to guide the way. You feel the poison in every breath and you have no idea when it will end. This isn't a scene from a horror film. This was London in December 1952. In just five days, a blanket of deadly smog killed over 4,000 people and left thousands more sick. It was one of the worst air pollution disasters in history, and it changed how we protect our air forever. So how did this happen? And what did London's deadly fog teach the world? In the years after World War II, London was a city rebuilding itself. But coal was still king. Factories, power plants, and homes all burned cheap, dirty coal. On cold winter days, millions of fireplaces sent thick smoke up into the sky. Normally, winds blew the smoke away. But in December 1952, the weather had other plans. On December 5th, a cold, windless air mass settled over London. As people kept burning coal to stay warm, smoke and soot rose up but had nowhere to go. It mixed with fog and natural moisture in the air, creating a dense, yellow-black smog. Within hours, the city was choking under a toxic blanket. Trains and buses were stranded. Cars crawled through the streets with people walking ahead carrying lanterns to light the way. In some areas, you couldn't see more than a meter in front of you. Schools closed, theaters shut down, and hospitals overflowed. People with asthma, lung conditions, and the elderly were hit hardest. Within days, more than 4,000 people were dead, and that number may have been even higher. At first, the government downplayed the disaster, calling it just another pea super, the name for London's usual fogs. But this was different. The smog contained deadly sulfur dioxide, soot, and chemicals that got deep into people's lungs. It lasted five long days until a fresh wind finally blew it away. When the air cleared, London realized it couldn't go back to business as usual. The great smog shocked the world into action. Scientists and doctors proved how deadly air pollution could be. The public demanded change. In 1956, Britain passed its first Clean Air Act, setting new rules for what could be burned in cities and pushing people to use cleaner fuels. This was one of the first major environmental health laws of its kind, and it inspired countries around the world to protect the air we all breathe. Today, air pollution still kills millions every year. From traffic fumes to factory smoke, the fight for clean air isn't over. London's deadly smog reminds us that the air we share can be as dangerous as any chemical. But we can change it if we act together. So the next time you see smoke rising or smell exhaust in the air, remember what happened in 1952. One city's tragedy became the world's wake-up call. And a lesson we can't afford to forget. Learn from the past. Protect the future. Clean air is everyone's right.